Hi guys, it's great to see you all back again. After seeing my homemade DIY deodorant and moisturizer videos, I've got several requests for my natural DIY lipstick and chapstick recipes. And I've been making these for years. They're amazing. The conventional lipsticks can be a source of harmful chemicals like lead and paraben. And since it is used on the lips that's near your mouth, these chemicals can be easily absorbed. These toxic substances can cause you allergy and skin damage as well. Do you know these chemicals in beauty products affect your hormones as well? Hormonal imbalance is the main reason for obesity and a lot of other health issues in women these days. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY lipstick at home with perfectly natural ingredients from your own kitchen. I'm going to show you how you can create lipstick variations and personalized lipstick colors that is chemical free and inexpensive to make at home. If you're not a fan of colored lipsticks, you can make this recipe without any added color options to achieve a basic natural lip chart. Before we start making the lipstick, please subscribe to my channel so that I will know that you like the content what I create and also press the bell icon here. It's very important so that you'll be the first one to get notified whenever I post such skin care and hair care videos. We are making a red lipstick first. The ingredients you are going to need are 1 tablespoon beeswax. Beeswax is created by melting a honeycomb with boiling water and then straining and cooling it. And then you need 1 teaspoon shea butter. You all know I'm a big fan of using coconut oil on skin and hair. But sometimes during summer months it feels a little bit sticky to apply on skin or use it in lipsticks. So I use another amazing natural moisturizer that is shea butter. Shea butter is very thick and solid at room temperature but has a buttery rich consistency. That makes it ideal for use as a natural eye cream, lip balm or even body butter. Shea butter is a superfood for skin that comes from the seeds of the fruit of shea tree and that is naturally rich in vitamin A, vitamin E and vitamin F. It offers UV protection from sun rays and provides the skin with the essential fatty acids and the nutrients necessary for collagen production as well. It moisturizes and smoothens your skin. Shea butter does more than just moisturizing. It delivers key anti-inflammatory and anti-aging components right into your skin. And you're going to need 1 teaspoon extra virgin cold pressed coconut oil. And then we are going to use 1 fourth teaspoon of natural red food color. You can also use beetroot powder. And we are going to use about 2 drops of lavender essential oil. I'll give you the links where you can buy all these ingredients. I'll update it below this video. Melt the shea butter and coconut oil in a double boiler. The word double boiler sounds a little bit fancy but it's just a bowl over a pot of boiling water. Make sure the bowl at the top doesn't touch the hot water beneath it. Once it's all melted and comes together, take it out of the flame and let it cool down. And then add a couple of drops of red food coloring. Use only the organic natural food color. Then add 2 drops of lavender oil and give it all a good mix. This recipe will create a smooth lipstick that is very moisturizing and protective on your skin. It's made from completely natural ingredients and it is safe for us on the lips or skin. Once all the ingredients are mixed well but still liquid, use a dropper to pour it into your cosmetic container or you can even use a spoon just like me. Leave to cool for at least half an hour, store it in a cool place until it softens. I bought these cosmetic containers which I use to store my lipstick and also homemade deodorant. This container is very handy to keep in your handbag or in your bathroom cupboard as well. You can apply the lipstick using a lipstick brush. I bought it from Amazon. I'll give you the link here if you want. We are making natural brown lipstick. For making the natural brown lipstick, you need 1 tablespoon of beeswax, 1 teaspoon shea butter and 1 teaspoon extra virgin cold pressed coconut oil. And for bringing the brown color, I'm going to use 1 fourth teaspoon cinnamon powder. I'm also going to use a pinch of turmeric powder which brings a little bit of yellowish hue to the lipstick and you need a couple of drops of lavender oil. Now 
You can be innovative and create your own variations of colors. Here I'm mixing both red and brown lipsticks we've just made. That gives me a subdued red which is more natural for applying it when you go to work. You can play around with the colors really and find out what shades you like. I hope my DIY lipstick recipes are very useful for you to make your own personalized lipstick at home. You can be innovative and create your own variations of colors. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye everyone. Take care.